So sometimes we need to pass dynamic values as part of a route. In other words, a route where a certain part of it is changeable, but regardless of what that changeable part is, it still renders the same page or component. Now, an example of this is for a blog details page. So the route might look something like this, forward slash blogs, forward slash 123, where 123 is the ID of the blog we want to see. Now this would maybe render a blog details component and show the blog with the ID of 123. Now that 123 could easily be something else like 456 or 789. Now in these cases, we'd still render the same blog details component, but instead we would show the blog with the ID of 456 or 789. So this changeable part of the route is known as a route parameter. It's like a variable inside a route. Now in our React application, we need to be able to use route parameters and access those route parameters from our component so that in the component, we can use these IDs, for example, to then maybe fetch data for that particular blog. So we're gonna see how to set this up now. So the first thing I want to do in all of this is create a blog details component because this is the component we're going to show when a user visits a route which looks something like forward slash blogs forward slash the ID of that blog. So let's create the blog details component first. We'll call this blog details.js and then we want a stateless functional component and call it blog details. Okay, so inside here at the minute, all I'm going to do is return a simple template, a div with a class of blog hyphen details, and inside that an h2, which says blog details. Okay. So now what we want to do is create a route for this blog. So let's do that inside app.js. This is where we have our routes. And I'm going to copy this one and I'm gonna paste it down here. So this time the path is going to be forward slash blogs and then forward slash whatever the ID is. So how do we say that this is gonna be a route parameter, a changeable part? Because we can't hard code an ID like two or three or four because the ID is gonna change. Well, to do this, we use a colon and then we give the route parameter a name. So you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it ID. So that will represent the ID of the blog. Now it could be one, a hundred, a million, it really doesn't matter. Now, when a user visits this route, I want to not go to the create component, but I want to render instead the blog details component, click on that to auto import it at the top. And then if I test this, I should see that route component regardless of what ID I put in. So forward slash blogs, forward slash one. For example, we see blog details. If I change this to five, we still see blog details because at the minute it really doesn't matter. Whatever this is, this changeable part, we're still rendering the blog details because we said, look, it can change. But then we also need to be able to access whatever the ID is in the route inside our blog details component because if it's one we want to then fetch the blog with the id of one inside this component if it's five we fetch the blog with the id of five and so forth so how do we grab that route parameter right here in the url well we use a hook from react router dom so what i'm going to do is come down here inside blog details and i'm going to say const and then i'm going to set that equal to use params now if i click on this it's going to auto import it from react router dom so what this does is allow us to grab parameters or route parameters from the route right here now all we need to do is destructure whichever route parameters we want now remember we named the route parameter id right here so we say we want the id from the params and then we can access this and we can use it inside our template or inside some other function to fetch the blog with that id for now all i'm going to do is output it to the template so let's output that id that we grab right here so if i save this and preview we can see currently it's five if i go to forward slash 500 then we see 500 so that's good we have that available to us now and we can use it later on to do a fetch request for that block. But first of all, what I want to do is on the homepage, 
I want to add links to these things right here so that if a user clicks on this one, it goes to the blog details route and it goes to the ID of whatever this blog is. So let us now go to the blog list component to try and set this up. Now remember, we have access inside this map function to each individual blog and each blog has an ID property. So we can access that and we can create a link. Oops, I've lost my blog list component. There it is. So we can use the ID property to make a link to surround maybe the H2 and the paragraph tag or something like that. So let's do that. I'm going to create a link tag right here and I'm going to press this to auto import it at the top and then I'm going to place the h2 and the paragraph tag inside the link like so and then we need to say where the link is going to so let's say 2 is equal to and then I don't want to hard code this in quotes because a part of it is going to be dynamic it's going to be the ID and that's going to change for each block so instead I'm going to use curly braces to say, look, I want to use some kind of JavaScript in here to output the string. And I'm going to use a template string instead. And that means we can output variables inside it. That's just a JavaScript feature. So it's going to be forward slash blogs, this route, forward slash the ID. Now, I can get that ID from this blog. I just need to output a variable inside this template string. So the way we do that is by using dollar sign curly braces and then whatever the variable is, in our case, the blog object, which we have access to, dot ID. So that's the ID property on the blog. And that's all there is to it. So now it would be forward slash blogs, forward slash one, or forward slash two, etc. And if we save this and go over here, we can see these are now links. If I click on this, it should go to one. Yep, it does. And if I go back and then click on this, it should be two. Awesome. So that is now working. We're capturing the ID in the links and we're accessing those IDs right here inside this blog details component. Now, there is one more thing I want to do and that's just to add some CSS styles to this thing right here so it looks a bit better. All I want to do is take off this underline right here. So let me go to the index.css and at the bottom I'm just going to paste in this final style and all I'm doing is saying text decoration none for the anchor tags on the blog preview. Now remember the blog preview is this div right here and that is where the anchor tag is. So if we take a look at this that looks a bit better. Awesome. So next up we need to show the data for that single blog in this page and to do that we're going to be reusing our custom hook use fetch.